Well, good morning, everyone. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. What does the Bible say about joy? When we think about joy, we usually think of being happy, delighted, or elated. We can find happiness in our jobs, our hobbies, even our personal achievements. Perhaps in your favorite sports teams, or your family, your spouse, or maybe listening to your favorite comedian tell really bad dad jokes. But we all desire joy, a long-lasting joy. However, these things only bring temporary happiness and not true biblical joy. There's a lot of people that seek joy. They go to the ends of the earth to find it. But where can we truly find a true joy and all its benefits? Number one, in God's presence. David wrote in Psalms 1611, You show me the way of life, grant me the joy of your presence, and the pleasures of living with you forever. Some would say he had it all. He, he had power. He had wealth. He was a king. He could make his own rules. However, he knew that these things would not bring him true joy. That material things, riches, position, is, can be taken away or lost. We can find true joy in his presence. We can spend time with God here on earth and in heaven. In God's word, listen to what Jeremiah the prophet said. Jeremiah 15, 16, when I discovered your words, I devoured them. They are my joy and my heart's delight, for I bear your name, O Lord God of heaven's armies. Jeremiah the prophet was known for talking about judgment and destruction. Hardly seems like a joyous time but he knew, he recognized God's voice. And because of that, he knew he was a child of God. And that gave him great joy listening to his father speaking into him and giving him a word. Number three, when we walk in obedience, there is joy in obeying our heavenly father, even when it's hard. He wants us to fill us with his joy when we obey. Jesus said this in John 15, 10 and 11, when you obey my commandments, you remain in my love, just as I obey my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I told you these things so that you may be filled with my joy. Yes, your joy will overflow. Did you guys catch that? He wants to fill us with his joy, not a joy that we need to manufacture. And not only that, it'll overflow out of us. That is so awesome. Also in praise, joy and praise go hand in hand. There's thanksgiving, there's rejoicing. You can't have one without the other. Listen to Psalm 71, 23. My lips will shout for joy when I sing praises to you, my soul also, which you have redeemed. And Psalms 5, 11. But let those who take refuge in you rejoice. Let them ever singing for joy and spreading your protection over them, that those who lo love your name may exalt in you. Joy, however, isn't driven by external circumstances. It can, we can walk in joy in the most trying times of our lives. It's a mindset. It's a response. It helps us walking and being content and keeps us from being resentful. James 1, 2 through 4 says this, Count it all joy, my brothers, when you meet trials of various kinds. For you know that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness, and let steadfastness have its full effect, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. Joy has its benefits. A proverb we're very familiar with is, A joyful heart is good medicine, 
but a crushed spirit drives up the bones. Think about how stress, anxiety, depression just weigh us down. We become weak, tired, almost dry, just like the proverb says. But joy can help change our perspective and look at it differently. And ultimately, it will give us life and energy. It will lift our spirits. And our Heavenly Father wants us to walk in joy. It's one of the fruits of the Spirit found in Galatians 5, 22 and 23. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control against such things there is no law. It also gives us strength. In knowing that the Lord has forgiven us and redeemed us, which is referenced at the end of Nehemiah 8.10. It says, do not grieve, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. Now, this isn't referring to a physical kind of strength. This is a strength of endurance. This helps us endure through persecution, hardship, and low points. Have you found true joy in your life? Or have walked in joy in a very difficult season in your life? In this season of Advent, remember what the angels said to the shepherds. Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that, this, that will bring great joy to all people. The Savior, yes, the Messiah, the Lord, has been born today in Bethlehem, the city of David. That's all for this week's Truth Talk, but there's more to be found on this subject in the best-selling book of all times, written, over, <laughs> written by 40 authors in three different languages and three different continents. Over the span of 1,600 years, the Bible is the truth. <laughs>